Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Churches of Goa, brought to you by Premium Goa. Today we are in the city of Panjim, looking at one of my favorite churches, Our Lady of Immaculate Conception. Let's go! In 1541, this Baroque-style chapel started its journey. In 1600s, it got an upgrade to being a church on the side of a hill that overlooked the beautiful city of Panch. From here, in the 1800s, we got the zigzag staircases. The zigzag staircases are actually an architectural marvel that are also seen in Portugal. They are seen at Nossa Senhora de Penada in Portugal and also at Bom Jesus de Monte in Braga. The beauty of it lies in its architectural structure. While we are looking at the church, it's an immaculate bright white to signify the Immaculate Virgin Mary. It also has two beautiful towers. In the center of it, there is a belfry with a bell tower. This bell tower has a very interesting story, as does the bell that it houses. This bell that it houses is the second largest bell in Goa, which was taken from the Augustinian ruins of Our Lady of Grace from Old Goa itself. Do you know which is the largest bell found in Goa? If you do, you can let us know in our comment section below. church lies in the fact that when you are in any part of Panjim and you try to catch a glimpse of it, you can. I think it is rightly called the crown of Panjim hence. The interior of this church is absolutely bespoke in its Baroque style, completely dedicated to Mother Mary. On the left hand side we see Jesus' crucifixion and on the right hand side we see Our Lady of Rosary. The altar also adorns two marble statues of St. Peter and St. Paul. This church comes alive beautifully on the 8th of December, which is the day of its feast. On this day, the entire city of Panjim converts itself into a big party. There are fairs of all different varieties available on the roadside. The church is lit up and is covered in flowers. 
It also has masses in different languages of Konkani, Portuguese and English for all these pilgrims that come here for Mass. On the exterior of this church, we find the words Aura Pranobis. What does Aura Pranobis mean? Aura Pranobis simply means in Latin, pray for this. While we say the litany, we repeat these words multiple times. Our Lady, pray for us. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Churches of Goa, brought to you by Premium Goa. I really do hope that you are enjoying these episodes that we are taking time to put together for you. Have a great day and see you all soon next week.